Good lord, guys, this place is literally insane. Two, one, go! Today we are going to be talking about my favorite place that I've ever explored and possibly even the biggest place I've ever explored. Back in 2016 I went to Pittsburgh to go watch a Penguins game and while I was there I was like you know let's see if there's any abandoned locations close to Pittsburgh and there were a bunch but the one that intrigued me the most was Lincoln Way which basically was a neighborhood of about 25 to 30 houses and they're all abandoned. But the reason why they are abandoned, uh, that's where the craziness comes in. So technically, Lincoln Way is located in Clareton, Pennsylvania, which is right outside the city of Pittsburgh. And there's nothing really to the city anymore. It's a ghost town. And the whole place just smelled extremely bad. I can't even describe the smell of how bad it was there. And it's actually pretty hard to find Lincoln Way on a map because people don't want you going into it. So I had to do some digging so I could find this place. Getting into Lincoln Way is extremely easy. All you have to do is park up the road a little bit and then just walk on in. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, cool, an abandoned neighborhood. But that's not what's really cool about it. The cool thing is everyone got up and left within a week. They were all living their normal lives and out of nowhere, every single person on the street with about 25 to 30 homes got up and left. And they left all their possessions. Let me explain to you what I saw while I was in there. Also, here's a cool picture of me on the roof of one of the houses. So I didn't really believe all the rumors about stuff still being left, all these fairy tales, but I got there. And literally, the houses, some were still intact and some were just burned to the ground. There was a fire that actually happened there in 2015. But I found cars in the garages. There were literally plates still set out like they had had dinner the night before. There were... Kids' clothes laid out like they were going to school the next day. I mean, I know people can set that up, but these clothes looked fresh. It didn't look like anyone just set it out there except the people who lived there. And it's just crazy to me that within a week, some say 24 hours, but I would assume from other stories, a whole week, people just got up and left. This neighborhood was built in the 1970s, so it w there shouldn't have been issues with these houses. It was fairly still new, but... Let me get into some of the theories of why these people left these houses out of nowhere. Now this is the most popular theory, and honestly the most logical in my opinion, of why everyone got up and left. There was a plant across the street, and many people from this neighborhood actually worked at that plant. And supposedly there were toxic fumes coming from the place, and it was just making people sick. And the longer that they were to stay there, the more susceptible they were to be to get sick. But the issue with this and why I don't trust this theory that much is that there were neighborhoods surrounding this place. If they got up and left within a week, why didn't these other neighborhoods that were like less than a football field away, why didn't they have to leave? Second theory is there was a highway that was supposed to be built. And I guess, I don't know, the town told them that they had to leave. And another theory is that, well... I don't know about this one, that the government is like paying them to leave because of some top secret thing. But honestly, in my opinion, the toxic fumes do make the most sense, even though they aren't completely trustworthy. And the final opinion is just wild to me in that it's paranormal and that there's a beast with red eyes that was stalking these houses. Now, this by far is the dumbest theory, in my opinion. I don't for once believe that there was a creature with red eyes stalking these families. But supposedly animals would turn up either missing or died, and gardens had been trampled through. Some people are convinced that this monster is real, and there was even some YouTubers who went to go disprove it, and in their video they ended up running away for what they claimed to be a red beast, but we all know that on YouTube you can fake a lot of things. Now when I was there, I didn't see any creature with red eyes or anything scary like that whatsoever. But uh, I did hear some weird noises while I was there. It honestly could have been other explorers or animals, but 
what I did notice, and I already said this, was the smell was horrible. The whole area just reeked. I don't know of what type of smell. It could have been the gas that they were talking about. I'm really not sure, but that's the only odd thing about the place. Now, if you wanted to explore Lincoln Way and plan your next big YouTube video, unfortunately, you are out of luck because in between 2017 and 2018, Lincoln Way was demolished. Luckily, I had got there just the year before, which is really amazing for me. And, you know, I really wish I could go back and do a big video now that I know more history about this place. But unfortunately, I will never be able to do that again. And I'm glad that I have the memories of the place when I got to go. So in conclusion of this video, the issue is nobody to this day admits why they left Lincoln Way. That's insane to me. You would think someone would speak out and maybe there is a government involved. Maybe they are trying to keep people quiet. I don't know, but you would think that the county, the government, people would come up with an explanation to tell us who wonder about it. And I don't know if we'll ever find the answer to why Lincoln Way is gone. And honestly my favorite place that I've ever been to you know going into one house is amazing but then to be able to go into 15 houses that are completely abandoned excuse me and just the mystery around it is amazing so unfortunately like I said you guys cannot go because it's gone but if it was still here would you guys have gone to Lincoln Way and what do you guys think is the truth about Lincoln Way thank you guys for watching another episode of Get Real Vlogs peace out guys